Hello, fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month without a doubt, especially for you. So I'm going to start with what is so amazing taking place for you. And that is happening in the middle of the month, right around the 19th is when we are going to have a new moon in your sign. Now, normally you get one new moon per sign per year, and this is your moment. It is as if it is your personal new year. And all things considered, and I'll talk about that in just a moment, this is a beautiful energy for you. I think you are absolutely going to love this new moon. This new moon will be happening hand in hand with Mercury and speaking in supreme harmony with Mars. Now, what's interesting is that Mars right now is in shadow throughout the month and beginning to make some of the uh, key characterizing conversations of tension as part of the larger Mars retrograde season. That energy is there this month. I spoke about this for you in the Mars retrograde special horoscope. I'll link to the YouTube video below. But what I love about this new moon, because it is speaking in supreme harmony with Mars and it's in your sign, it's like you understand how to use this energy to your advantage. You understand how it is that by being empowered to consider your worldview, you are changed, you are shaped in positive ways in the process. This new moon in your sign is going to bring with it fresh energy, Mars amplifying the energy that much more, having you feeling enthusiastic about your life and what is possible for you. And Mercury is going to bring with it brilliance and new ideas. It is mind ultimately that is intimately connected to the new beginning you are experiencing at this time. Now, for some of you, this is going to be a new way to identify uh, when you have a new moon in your sign. It has to do with what matters to you most, what matters to you first, what you understand your identity to be and what you hold nearest and dearest to you. And it is these very areas that are getting fresh energy and a burst of excitement, a burst of feeling as if you finally see things in a way that is clear and in a way that works to your advantage. In a practical sense, things can change now as you gear up to feel a sense of starting new chapters, but also you may just feel different. You may feel better than you have in a while. I think this new moon can't come soon enough because it is as if it restores the energy and the focus back on you and what you really want. And that in turn can't help but make you feel like you can go forward that much stronger and clearer about who you are. And to carry that energy forward in every area of life at that. And this is going to be important to remember as you're starting this month, because at the beginning of the month, that's where the energy is a little bit tricky. And I'm so sorry to say, but it does happen that not all celestial phenomenons are going to be easy breezy. We are going to have times of challenge. And ultimately, it is how we navigate the challenge that informs something about who we are. And it is that information that allows us to build healthy self-respect. And so we have a full moon happening right around the third of the month. You will feel this energy right out of the gate at the very beginning of the month. And this full moon, of course, is a moon standing across the sky from the sun in your sign. And it is setting up what astrologers call a T-square. This is a larger conversation of tension and there may even be frustration. Because it is Uranus involved in this T-square, there are surprises and perhaps even erratic behavior, uh, a sense that things are changing almost out of nowhere as you are gaining fresh understanding, fresh insight, and very likely related to self, yes, but related to another person as well. Now, this may be connected to someone that you are in alignment with in terms of a business partnership, a professional alliance. One of these people may very suddenly leave at this time. It does happen and it can feel especially dramatic when we have this type of energy. It can feel like it comes out of nowhere. 
there may be an element there where you didn't realize the truth and now you realize the truth or you see the truth or something that they do, their behavior is so revealing that that is part of what facilitates uh, the sense of a connection ending in some way now. Whatever happens, know that who's supposed to be there is gonna be there, who's not supposed to be there won't be there. But I have seen people make all kinds of things work. It doesn't necessarily mean that an alliance would come to an end. It could mean that through some erratic or unexpected behavior, you get a chance to be more honest about how you feel about a particular alliance and whether or not it is working for you. Uranus is an energy of truth. The T-square, that is uncomfortable. So it is an uncomfortable truth. Full moons also have to do with truth as well, but they are illuminating. They are about accepting the truth and they bring emotion to the mix as well. So it feels like a whole lot may be coming to the surface as you may be examining a particular alliance. And it is going to be as this sense of clarity perhaps sudden clarity comes, you'll be able to understand whether or not you are meant to move forward with this person. Know that if you are in a professional alliance, well, chances are that person may behave erratically in some way, it does happen, but it may also be you, your reaction, you feeling like this person is pushing your buttons in some way that ends up being part of a shift in understanding as to who they are and the role they play in your life. But if we're talking about partnerships, we have to talk about love. And in the context of love, this full moon is going to be incredibly powerful. In fact, I do think most Leos out there are going to experience this energy in the context of love. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, this may bring somebody into your sphere. Ultimately, what full moons in your opposite sign are meant to show you is where you are in love and why and how you feel about it. And it may very well be in the first days of this month, you have a key interaction with another person that feels like it provokes you in unexpected ways or leads you to have new understandings that perhaps are accompanied with or come through a sense of some frustration. But there is truth there. There is an opportunity there for you to understand more deeply where you are in love and how you really feel about it. And it is in that space of contemplation that you find a deeper level of acceptance. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, again, truth is the key word as you are beginning this month in the full moon, and you will see some truth about this person. This is a very quick, all or nothing realization. If it is that this is somebody that you want to continue to develop something more substantial with, that clarity will come very quickly and it'll move forward very quickly at that. But there may also be the situation where you quickly or even in an instant realize some truth about this person that makes you understand that you're ready to go in a different direction. And for those of you in an established bond, this is gonna be a time of truth and of honesty as to who this person is, who it is that you are. It may feel as if there are sensitive feelings here. Now, where it is that if you have been holding something back that you know matters, that you know is important, that may come to the surface at this time very suddenly. If it is that your partner may have been holding something back, that can come to the surface now very suddenly as well. But it is also possible that it is going to be this full moon that allows the two of you to very spontaneously, if not unexpectedly, uh, be very honest with each other about a key matter. Now, regardless of what it is, know that for both people, you and your partner, uh, tension may be running high, energy may be running high. This is an opportunity for the two of you to be more clear, to be more out in the open as to what you really have been feeling, what really has been going on. And it is in that honesty that you will find a renewed sense of knowing how to move forward from here. At the very least though, it is possible that one or both of you is feeling especially touchy at this time and has an 
unexpected reaction to a given conversation or interaction. But of course, it is also possible that this energy doesn't necessarily play out in your established bond, and it may instead be directed towards a more uh, of a professional or business alliance. What I love about this month for you, well, look, it is a very important astrological month for you, and that is what I love about it. It is defining in key ways, even with all of that very erratic energy as we begin the month, by the time we navigate towards the middle of the month, you are gaining perspective. You are gaining clarity. You are gaining a clearer sense now as to who it is that you are at your very best, but also who it is that someone else may be and the frustrations that might be there. Regardless, it is honest, it is real, and you are on the precipice of a sense of a brand new chapter a bright and bold new beginning, one that feels empowered and exciting. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.